the nabinto of the VAT is a tax on value added. It is an indirect tax collected by the traders on behalf of the government. It is usually included in the price of goods or services. And we really know that uh, taxation is what is harming and harming the economy of the normal manainji, if I can be able to use that um, now, because we, we understand that uh, the standards of living, regardless of how much I'm going to be paid, is going uh, up. And the, the, the problem is because of the taxes which we are being levied um, by, uh, by the policies which are being made by the members of the parliament, which uh, we say they were being elected by the system, as the current government um, portrays or looks like. Now, if we can be able to discuss and expand on value added tax is that uh, the taxes which the government normally collected normally collect uh, collect uh, from the sale of goods and services is what we regard as VAT. And um, if the if the selling price exclusive of a product, uh, we normally know that um, all the selling price being exclusive exclusive of the VAT will be low. But uh, the additional of VAT is because some act, some, some VAT act, uh, which we are saying that the VAT in Kenya is regulated by the VAT Act of 2013. We are saying that uh, the reason is why we are paying taxes because we want the government to be able to finance their own projects. Um, as we can look on uh, the aspect of uh, 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 what we call them, we call uh, Patrick is telling me to share. I always share, but you have to attend the class regardless. Now, um, I'm saying that um, based on uh, some of the policies which are, um, and the proposals uh, which are normally made by the Treasury together with the, the targets in which uh, the KRA normally sets in a given financial year, we are saying that our budget is rising. And when I was today looking on uh, some things in regards to the current trends which are happening today, I could find that uh, Kenya is the country which is regulating. And uh, for example, Kenya is the US of East Africa. We can see that our economy is the one which is uh, motivating the other countries which are close to us. So basically, um, all of the acts in which uh, all the acts um, in terms of what we are doing will be in will, what we are going through and what we are doing will be impacting um, will be impacting the the East African countries. I I remember today I was able to see uh, some few things which was happening in the border of Somalia, whereby some proposals are being put in place that uh, we are supposed to be opening the border for trade uh, for the reduction of uh, whether we can be able to look on the regulation of uh, um, um, common goods. And um, because these problems are going on, um, we are expecting that the standards of living would be high um, during this year. And therefore, uh, we are expecting that, uh, we are expecting that uh, the poverty line has already increased to around 169 shillings. Um, that being the case, um, we we see, because I'm explaining VAT in a broader way, we see that um, a lot of things will be affected by, by, by the things that uh, we were able to rectify in the, in the elections, which are normally held after five years. Now, because the policies which are made affect us directly or indirectly, uh, like what happened yesterday, I think some two days ago, there was an increment in the fuel prices. And when I look on the increment of the fuel prices, it's not about the international market is with per se, but it's because of the, uh, we find that uh, Russia is forming part of the world. Then uh, when the Russia is not participating or when the Russia is not being able to, to submit or being able to distribute what they are producing, we see that the Africa, the, uh, Africa, um, in in in, uh, in a major, in a, in in a, in in a, in a larger 
uh, picture is the one which is suffering. And uh, because we cannot be able to produce, we cannot be able to produce our own products. And um, something I, I see are going through is because of, uh, we can be able to make our own policies. I think you can be able to unmute yourself so that we can be able to uh, to uh, to agree on some things which I'm discussing. I think that um, what we are experiencing since 2020 to date, it is, a, is it, I think is a, is a call that uh, Africa should be, is, is a wake up call to uh, African continent that uh, we have to start depending on ourselves. Uh, we start, uh, we, it is important not to be able to depend on the, uh, those uh, white uh, guys. So it is important that, and that is why we are looking on them. Um, the campaign to the majority of guys who are saying that um, are becoming the president. Yes, cool. Sorry. Now, um, when you look on the campaign trail, which is going on in the country, a majority of them will be able to come to your area and they tell you that uh, we are going to be lowering the standards of living. But remember the same people who are in in uh, in the chamber, and they said that uh, if, for example, we can be able to take some goods which are exempted from taxation, and we put some taxes, for example, like bread, you can see it, before August, I think bread will be under shillings. Uh, you see, like things like bread, we talk about uh, um, milk, we talk about gas. You look on now, things are moving on right now. I think. Um, when these people are coming to your area, they will be telling you lies. And I like on what the, the central and also together with the Mount Kenya, what they normally do. After one election, we don't expect the same people to come back to the parliament again. But uh, in other areas, it has been um, a challenge. So now you are going to be um, um, appointed on electing your uh, regulators. Now, what are some of the advantages of the VAT? Because I can be able to discuss those aspects in larger aspects. We are saying that it generates more revenue than other taxes since it is a multi-level tax. It is difficult to evade VAT since it is usually including the product price. It is convenient since it is paid in small installments and it is also including the product price. But number four, it is cheap to collect since it is collected by the traders and it has few collection points. Now, some of the disadvantages, it leads to inflation since it starts by increasing product prices without adjusting on the purchasing power of the taxpayer. So when you look on the fluctuation of the prices, today I was analyzing um, I was analyzing economy in a different aspect, that economy our economy is not affected by, uh, by the inflation, by the demand and supply forces. It is not uh, affected by the uh, natural calamities. Our economy is affected by the policies made by uh, legisl legislators. And therefore, when we look on it, for example, because we normally say um, there is no any economy which can evolve without inflation. We look on this aspect, the aspect of an economy whereby uh, we are supposed to be, we cannot operate with zero inflation. And therefore, I expect to have gradual in, in increase in the prices of commodities. Because you can look on the time when you are a child, you used to, to take or to buy a bread at 15 or 20 shillings. But we are supposed to be discussing about gradual increase because of the standards of living. We, we are living on a different and um, in a different world compared to the 1990s. There is improvement in technology and also improvement of how those products are produced. So the more the cost we are incurring in producing the product, the more the grant, uh, the grant will increase in the price. But it is not supposed to be shifting like what I have said, I have seen today, that the, a tray of egg, which we, we, I think we were purchasing it at 290 uh, to, to, to 300 there, uh, it will be costing you around 450 to 480 because a tray of egg today has been increased, has increased by 25%. Considering that, uh, because why is it increasing? Because the government is not supporting agriculture. So it means that we don't have enough eggs in our country. 
enough eggs for consumption in a country. Can you imagine? Number two, it requires a trader to maintain complicated records. Remember when we are discussing about VAT is one of the complicated um, is, is one of the complicated tax in this aspect. A majority of the taxpayers, they normally think that when you have more credit, when you have more VAT refund, let me use that word. When I have more VAT refund, it means that um, I'm going to be having um, I'm on safer side. Nowadays, the KRA has developed some techniques that if, for example, a, an organization can be able to pay 200 million, an organization can be able to pay, let me use a, a small figure like 800,000. Because between 500 and 800 is when we have around 25 to 30 employees. So when an organization is able to, and they are being paid an average of, uh, to say, well, let me talk about that to that 5 or 40, a small organization. So if, for example, you can be able to pay um, a salary, a wages, a salaries and wages of uh, 850,000, for example. And in, in uh, when you look on how you are calculating your VAT, you have a credit every month you are filing your returns. Then that is one of the indicators that you are not filing the correct VAT. So the KRA will continue monitoring your situation, whether you are able to reduce the credit that is existing in your PIN. So if this is what you have been doing over the years, the KRA will one day um, um, uh, will be one day be able to come to your organization and they do what they are doing with Keroche. So don't expect um, because they normally look on major aspect. What is the revenue generated? And remember, um, I will be able to discuss this, which is not the right thing. Majority of the organizations they don't pay the correct VAT. Majority of the organizations they don't pay correct uh, taxes. And the reason is the how the VAT on how the taxes are normally utilized by the re, uh, current regime or the regime which is ruling um, under a certain period. So that is the problem that we are having in our country. Um, I, 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 in my my own opinion, I think I will be able to take my, your opinions later. Um, in my own opinion, I normally think. If, for example, we can be able to reduce the tax brackets, for example, to 15% or 20%, that is the corporation tax rate. If we can be able to reduce it for the limited companies to 22, let me talk about 15%, like uh, what is happening to the India. India, they are charging between, between 12 and 15%. It means I'm going to be bringing more taxpayers, more taxpayers to the, to the bracket, and therefore, the more the taxes will be collected. But in, when you look on uh, most of the countries where the VAT is very expensive, when, for example, the taxes are so, so high, and because I'm teaching thieves, because the accountant are the one who normally executes uh, theft within the organizations, um, I'm very sure that um, majority of the accountants will be fixing the companies to evade taxes to evade taxes, which becomes a major a major case um, in the courts. So we can be able to run those problems in the near future. That is not a problem. We can be able to look on them in a different aspect. We can be able to discuss VAT, and uh, I, I normally like um, um, politics of uh, taxes so much than the politics that we are having right now. Now, definition of the terms used in the VAT Act, and number one, we are saying the business, and we are saying a business means trade, com uh, commerce, or manufacture profession, vo uh, vocation, or occupation. Or we are saying any other activity in the nature of trade, commerce, or manufacture. Number three, we can also say any activity carried on by a person regularly or continuously whether or not for gain or profit, and which involves in, particular, in part or in whole the supply of goods or services. You can also say the supply of property by way of lease, uh, license, or similar agreement. However, this does not include employment, or be or leisure activity. Now, we normally discuss about when, for example, if you get into um, a PIN which has already already registered a VAT, you will find that uh, there is an area where we are supposed to be uh, filing or uh, filling some gaps in regards to our input tax 
and there is an area we are supposed to be putting all our output taxes. So what is an input tax? And we are saying number A, this means tax paid or payable on the supply to registered person on any other goods or services to be used by him for business uh, for business purposes. And we are saying for B, tax paid by a registered person on the importation of goods or services to be used by him for the purpose of business. So based on the two explanations, it means that the input tax um, incorporates uh, the, in, uh, the imports, right? It means all the import will be captured under the uh, input taxes. Then it means we are supposed to be asking a, um, a, a good question. What about the export taxes? And the, the, exports, uh, the export tax will be in, under the output because the export, it means that is um, you, are, you are exporting or you are able to sell your products outside. So the question that I think we're supposed to be asking me, what are the rates? I will be able to give them later. Now, what is the supply? And we are saying supply of goods you can be able to sell, exchange, or the transfer of their rights to dispose of the goods or um, for, go for, for goods as owner. Number two, we are talking about the provision of electrical thermal energy, gas, or water. Now, what is a supply of services? And it means anything done, done that is not a supply of good or money, including the performance of services for another person, the grand assi assignment of surrender of any right, the making, available, uh, the making available of any facility or advantage. Now, what is a tax period? It means one calendar month or such other period as may be prescribed in the regulation, and I will be able to expand on the tax period. Now, remember, there is a tax period for, uh, for, for sales for sales that we are making within the organization. So for the sales that we made, we, we, we made last month, we are supposed to be filing them or we are supposed to submit those sales on or before 20th of the following month. I think now uh, the accountants are preparing to submit their VAT. Now, what about the purchases? You can be able to, to play with the purchases for certain months. And those months we are discussing about six months. Six months, because the tax period is six months for purchases. You, you are being given six months to make sure that any, any invoice that is existing under your name, right, where someone was able to sell, right, and it, they included the name of your company. Under their receipts that I have sold, um, for example, I have sold a water tank, right, to Salat, amounting to 50000 Right, a uh, registration number, uh, pin number, it is included in, in the pin. It means that receipt, it is, it is binding. Within that period, which you are being given by the KRA, right, it means you are supposed to be submitting that receipt within a period of six months, right? So that is the tax period for purchases, the tax period for purchases. But that can't apply for sales. Sales will be clear them. Uh, the following month, the following month. Now, the taxable supply, it means a supply other than an, an exempt supply made in Kenya by a person in the course of four, the, um, uh, for the course of furtherance of a business carried on by the person included supply made in connection with the commencement or termination of a business. So that is a taxable supply. The taxable supply normally sometimes, it normally injures the people who are making sales the people who are having sales. How do I say this? Remember, there is, a, there is a period whereby we are having a problem with bad debt written off, bad debt written off. So the bad debt written off, it means that, and this is the question, I think majority of you, when they want to advance in their career, you will be able to be asked a question like this. I have made a sale of 10 million to Wainaina today. And within a period of six months, Wainaina is unable to pay me. Let me talk about the credit limit between me and Wainaina is six months. And it means that um, that is the credit limit. It is six months. And also the credit, uh, the credit limit, for example, uh, for, uh, for the items in which I'm supposed to be selling to Wainaina is 10 million or so. So let me talk about 10, 10 million. So in this case, 
the KRA will be able to ask, uh, not the KRA, but the, the interviewer will be able to ask you, what normally happens when you are unable, for example, when my uh, has declared bankrupt, and you cannot be able to recover uh, the, the, the 10 million that uh, you sold uh, to Wainaina, what normally happens? So what normally happens when the Wainaina declared, uh, is being declared bankrupt, right? Remember, in your books of accounts, you are going to be um, writing off that sale that you made during those periods, right? But what normally, uh, what normally happens to the KRA? To the VAT that you pay to that sale, what normally happens? What normally, the problem that we normally have during those periods, you are going to be raising some credits, right? And the question will be, and you, I'm going to give you an assignment to go and research, you are going to be asked by that interviewer, which accounts are normally affected by that VAT, by that credit note that you want to raise? Which accounts are normally affected? Where do I have to debit? Where do I have to credit? That is an assignment for today. Now, let us look on the change of tax. And we are saying, a tax to be known as VAT shall be charged on, number one, a taxable, a taxable, uh, pass, uh, a taxable supply made by a registered person within Kenya, importation of taxable goods, a supply of imported uh, taxable services, and we are saying that um, the ratio uh, of that shall be, in case of zero rated supply, it will be zero rated. And uh, for example, we are saying a supply of imported taxable supplies, you can be, uh, you might be dealing with the zero rated supplies, um, um, some products which are recognized in our country are uh, not taxable. I will also be able to give you an assignment between uh, a mineral water, right? And in Majia Kanju, which one is taxable, right? You will be able to tell me when we start doing illustrations. Now, in any other case, 16% of the taxable value. Remember, I have said you might be purchasing a product from another country which is not taxable. When you reach in our border, right, in our borders or in our airspace, that product becomes taxable. And therefore, you have to include the VAT on your selling price so that you can be able to collect on behalf of the government. Now, what, what is the place in the time of supply? We are saying a supply of services is made in Kenya if the place of the business of the supplier from which the service are supplied in, is in Kenya. If the place of business is not in Kenya, the supply of the service shall be deemed to be made in Kenya if the recipient of the supply is not a registered person and A, the services are physically performed in Kenya. The services are directly related in, in, in or to movable property in Kenya. And the services are electronic services delivered to a person in Kenya at time of supply. So we are saying that the supply is a transfer or a assignment. Is it a transfer or assignment? Or grant of the right to use a copyright, patent, trademark, or similar rights in Kenya. Then look at the place of supply of goods. A supply of goods occurs in Kenya if, number one, the goods are delivered or moved uh, or made available in Kenya by the supplier. Remember, we, we, when I can be able to discuss that, I can be able to discuss with different units we are doing. Whether I'm doing, um, I'm discussing with FM or AMA. Remember AMA, we said, when you are dealing with the um, overseas products, right? We said you can be able to order more, right? Then, in the aspect of AMA, you are going to be incurring the ordering and holding costs. But when you come to the VAT, the products that you are holding within the organization are included with the VAT, which you are supposed to be submitting within a period of six months, they have said. So the goods are delivered outside Kenya, they were in Kenya when the, trans the transportation commenced. So those are some of the things that are supposed to be looking. Time of supply of goods and services, and the time of supply shall be the earlier of the date at which on where the goods are delivered or services are, are performed. And we are saying the date a certificate is issued by our architect, surveyor, or any other person acting as a consultant in uh, supervisory capacity. So the date uh, on which the, the invoice of the supply is issued, the date on, on which the payment of the supply is received either fully or partially. Now, what, what about the taxable value? And we are saying, 
The taxable value of a supply, including a supply of imported service, shall be the consideration for the supply. If the supply or recipient are related, the open market value of the supply, and we are saying the consideration for the supply shall be the total of um, an amount in money paid or payable directly or directly by any person for the supply. The open market value of the time of the supply of an amount in kind are uh, paid or payable directly or directly. And you are saying taxes, duties, levies, fees or cha and charges other than the VAT. So the VAT or supply of imported goods, and you are saying the taxable value of the imported goods is the value for duty plus duty itself. Right? And remember, we talk about the excise duty. So the taxable value is the imported goods, the value of the duty plus the duty. So the deemed ta taxable supply, we are saying it is an application of taxable supplies by a registered person for use outside business. This is a taxable and the, the trader should charge himself the VAT. So the taxable supply shall be deemed to have been made by the person on the date the supply is first used outside the business. So the deduction of the input taxes will be inclusive of this. We are saying when determining the VAT payable, the input tax on the, this is now when we discuss about the input tax, these are the purchases that we are making with the organization. So when determining the VAT for payable, the input tax on the taxable supply should be deducted again in the output tax for the, for the tax period. So the input tax to be deducted should have a proper documentation. So this may include original tax invoice or a certified copy. A tax invoice should have the following information. Number one, name of the business, personal identification number of the business, VAT registration number, date and time of supply, the value of supply, tax charged, a statement whether the supply is subject to VAT or not, and if so, the rate applicable for the VAT, the name of the buyer, or personal identification number of the buyer, whether the supply is on cash or on credit. The problem that you are going to be having with KRA, I remember now you understand uh, where we are going. I think uh, you can be able to see the, 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 the online writing is uh, subject for taxation. That is something that um, is under consideration. So remember, that is the, 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 uh, the country we are living in. So it means that the government does not want to see an asshole which is existing within our country with the thought of VAT. But when you, when you overtax the, the people, uh, they are going to be looking on ways of evading tax. And uh, that normally comes when you find that um, someone is uh, able, for example, I'm able to advise you uh, to pay tax. But when I look on how the government is utilizing total tax, I cannot be able to advise you to go and pay tax. They will just be able to tell you the way you can avoid. Remember, we talked about avoidance, evasion, and so on. So we know what which is legal and which is illegal. Now, what does uh, number B we are say? Custom entry form certified by the proper officer and the receipt for the payment of tax. A custom receipt and the certificate signed by the proper officer stating the amount of tax paid in the case of goods purchased from a customs auction. A credit note in the case of input tax deducted. And then we are saying a credit note corrects an overcharge. We know this where a credit note is received, it reduces the input tax. So when a credit note is issued, it reduces the output taxes. So I think uh, if you did not understand the issues of the credit note, here it is well elaborated. So you can be able to go back to the uh, incomplete records and confirm or now we were treating the credit notes and the debit notes. Now, when I look on the, on the, we are saying they are down, an input tax must be claimed within um, the months after the tax period in which it was incurred. So where the input tax that may be deducted exceeds the amounts of output tax for the period, the amount of the excess shall be carried forward as input tax deductible in the next tax period. However, if the excess arises from making zero rated supplies, the, commission, the commissioner can refund the amount. Uh, which a trader is dealing with uh, three types of supplies, the input tax deductible shall be restricted. Remember now, I think when we, uh, I think we shall be able to look on the challenges of the VAT and how the computation normally requires a lot of attention. 
an examiner is going to be giving you this problem, a problem whereby they give you um, uh, standard rated supplies, zero rated supplies, and exempt supplies in the same question, right? So it means what I want to introduce you down there, where we are talking about restriction, it will only apply where the three are in the question. You cannot be able to apply if the three are not in the question. You cannot be able to restrict. So what does this mean? I need, to, I need to, because the exam supplies normally forms or they are the ones which normally determines whether I can restrict or not based on the formula. So when I look on the restriction, right? Because I have to restrict before, uh, I have to look on a certain percentage. The percentage is here where we are saying, this is only applicable where the exam supplies is more than the 10% of the total supplies. So it means the first thing is to check on the exam supplies before I restrict. Are they exceeding 10% or not? And we have said, the, 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 this, this restriction always applicable where the exam supplies in the question. That is number one. Number two, if it is more than 10% of the total supplies, if it is more than 10%. So it means if it is less than 10%, 10, 10 uh, we are just going to be taking the output tax minus the input tax, the input tax. That is the, what we are going to be doing right now. That is what I want us to do straight away. Now, I want us to look on a good question, which was tested on uh, a question we tested on 2019, right? So you can look on 2019 question, um, November, November 2019, question number 2C. I'm hoping that you have calculator with you. We should be having calculator with me. And also I'm supposed to be having um, past paper. And today I'm unlucky because I have to use two, two laptops. Someone went with my paper and that someone is Diana, right? So I have to use another laptop and another one so that I can be able to read the question when I'm doing to, uh, to you on the board. Now, I want to look on that question, that question, 2019 May. 2019 here. It should be on November, sorry. So November 2019, question number, okay, it is here. Can everybody see my screen? Can everybody see my screen? And on the same note, am I alone? You are not alone. Great. I just need only one person. Because one person can give me answers. If the other they don't want, then it becomes it becomes a challenge. Now, let's look on the question. I think you are having yours from your side. Question to C. And uh, these are the problems in which our country are having. And also the problems in which Africa at large we are facing. You can see even the questions are from China. So Zing Limited, oh sorry, Zing China Company Limited has been engaged in the building industry for many years. And we, have, we know that they are building Africa. So there have been an ongoing dispute with the revenue authority as to the amount of the VAT that the company is liable to pay, right? According to the Revenue Authority Assessment, the company is supposed to pay 5.6 billion, whereas the company assessment of the VAT payable is 3.9 million. You have been provided the following additional details relating to the company's transactions during the assessment period. You remember, I can see there up there are writing purchases. So it means, those are my input taxes, right? We have drilling machines, mobile cranes, 
concrete mixer, poker vibrator, photocopier, two forklifts, 700 tons of cement and so on. So additional information we have been told, the company has negotiated a contract of 84 million, exclusive of VAT on 1st February 2019, for which it received a progress payment of 52 million, right? So we are going to be taxing what we have received, 52 million on 27th March 2019. The invoice has been raised earlier on 15th March 2019, based on the architect's certificate for the value of the work certified. Do you remember that question? So the company has also, on 18th February 2019, secured a tile fixing contract of 18 million, exclusive of VAT, for which an installment of 7.2 million was received on 12th March 2019, ahead of the completion date of 24 May 2019. So the invoice was raised for the full payment on completion. By the end of the May 2019, the balance of payment, of the balance of the payment has not been received from the client. All right. So the above transactions are inclusive of VAT where applicable unless otherwise stated, required. A device the Anglin uh, China Construction Company Limited on, number one, have been told the correct VAT position of the company for the period between February 2019 and May 2019, right? What action to take based on the analysis in two above, in, two, in, in C1 above, sorry. So in this case, we need to be separating between um, what um, between what is um, um, we just need to do some analysis there regards to output taxes and input taxes. I think you have the question with you, and um, I will be able to start with the with the output taxes. I remember in note number one. Because the question is categorically uh, looking on uh, certain months, we have been told between February and May. So all the invoices which are falling between that period are supposed to be taxed. So in this case, let me look on my VAT because I'm doing my VAT uh, for which month? Uh, for February to May. So in this case, I have to be looking on uh, uh, some, uh, some items. For example, the revenue that I was able to receive so my analysis is very clear. I was able to receive 52 million on March, and also I was able to receive 18 million clear because I was being told by the end of the May 2019, the balance, the payment has not been received uh, from the client. But remember the service has already been made, but when was the invoice raised? That is a suited thing. I raised the invoice for the payment on 24th May 2019, correct? So I have to pay VAT for 18 million because we have been to the company also so on 18 February 2019 secured a tile fixing contract of 18 million exclusive of VAT for the installment payment of 7.2 million was received on 12th March ahead of the completion date on 24th. So the invoice was raised for the full payment on the completion. So let's just go to the board. Let's go to the board and see how we can be able to set to settle. Uh, this problem the KRA is having. So we are having a problem here. And the, the problem that we are having is a good problem. And uh, we have been told that uh, because there are only two things that we are supposed to be checking on, um, kindly take note on that. We are just supposed to be focusing on two things. And those two things are not supposed to be affecting you, right? Just setting things clear. Now, here, let us discuss about our output tax, right? Output tax. This is based on the sales. And because here we are offering services, right? Here we are offering services. We are going to be having a very simple uh, a very simple way of tackling these questions. I'm just looking for a good format so that you can be able to understand.
I'm, I'm supposed to be having the nature of supply. Nature of supply, right? I'm supposed to be having qualifying costs. Then I'm supposed to be having VAT rates. Then the last thing that I'm supposed to be taking here is the VAT amount. Is the VAT amount. So in this case, remember, in the first period, in the first period, we are being told that I was able to receive a contract. And in the first additional information, I was being able to, to be, I was being able to, uh, I was told that in the contract that we won, I think the contract was around 80 something million. Let me confirm. So we are being told that uh, the, the company uh, negotiated a contract with the 4 million exclusive of the VAT on 1st February 2019, for which um, we were able to receive 52 million within that period. So the contract that we were able to get, because the contract that we, we, are, we are doing, right? It is a service and therefore what we are being told, a contract uh, was exclusive of the VAT. The amount that we received will be subjected to, uh, to a VAT. Now, the qualifying cost every time should be exclusive. Exclusive of VAT, exclusive of VAT. Should be exclusive of VAT. It should be exclusive of VAT. So in our case here, during the February, because here we are doing February, May, during February, May, we were able to do what? I was able to receive 52 million, which I'm supposed to declare, 52 million. The VAT rate, it is 16%. The VAT rate is 16%. What is the VAT amount? What is our VAT amount? VAT amount? If you want to sleep. Yeah, VAT amount. Eight million three hundred and twenty. Sorry? Eight million three hundred and twenty thousand. Eight million three hundred and twenty thousand, right? In addition, in number two, we were being told that we were able to fix some tiles because I've been told the company had also on 18 February 2019 secured a tile fixing contract of 18 million exclusive of VAT. Remember the problem uh, with the 18 million, which we are treated differently is when we were able to read the invoice, right? So remember the tiles fixing, we are talking about tiles fix, fixing, the revenue that we were able to generate of 18 million. The 18 million is what we are including on the in invoice. That is what is inclusive, uh, which is being included on the invoice that we raised. The VAT rate is at the rate of 16%. That's sixteen percent. What is our VAT amount? What is our VAT amount? What is our VAT amount? Hello. Two two million eight hundred and eighty thousand. Kindly let us cooperate because I want to finish this thing and I go to sleep. 2,880,000. I don't know why you are quiet. They said you prepare yourself with calculator. So what is the total VAT amount? What is the VAT amount? I can see it's 11. I don't know why you are so slow. Is it 11? Um, 200,000. That is our VAT amount. So we don't have any other output tax. What we have in the question right now, it is the input taxes. So the input taxes we are being given on a table there. Right? So let us analyze our input taxes. Our input taxes. 
So this you can be able to keep it. We shall be able to come and check on it later. Let me analyze my input taxes. So the input tax will not change, it will be the same. Right? So we are being told we look on the nature of supply. Nature of supply, right? And I can be able to get this VAT direct. Because I was being able to, I was told that uh, the prices for the purchases are inclusive. So we are calculating output, sorry, output tax based on the purchases. Purchases that we made during that period. So the nature of supply, let me shorten it. And then we have VAT amount. And the VAT amount. So I can be able to start with the, let me start with the first one. The first one is, the first one is, we were able to purchase drilling machines. Drilling machines. And the, 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 before the requirement we are being told, the above transactions are inclusive of VAT, were applicable unless otherwise stated. The otherwise stated was applicable in not one and two, but the other prices are inclusive of the VAT. So it means the invoice dates or the invoice. So I have a question. Yes. Could it be input tax or output tax? Input, sorry. Input tax. Thank you. Any other question? So Diana is going to give me answers. So drilling cost, we can see it was purchased during the third period we are calculating for, Feb and May. So we were able to purchase 52.20, right? You know 52.20, right? Uh, the proportion for 52.20 is 116% because it is inclusive of VAT. But I need only 16. So you ask yourself, let me work on it here. If 52.20 is equals to 116%, right? If I was using the format that I have used to calculate the output tax, you remember we were saying um, it is the nature of supply, the qualifying cost, I will talk about 100%. I return it to 100, then I tax. But that is a lot of work. I just need to come here and ask myself, what about the 16% which I require for VAT amount? So when you cross multiply, it means here we multiply by 16 over 116. 16 over 116. What is the VAT amount? What is our VAT amount? Elias? I know Elias doesn't have calculator. Who else? Uh, uh. Salat? 720,000 done. 720, I know you don't have a calculator. CV, sour. So the other one is mobile crane. Mobile crane, right? So the mobile crane, um, the amount in Gapi, inclusive. The amount inclusive is how much? Is it that 45,000? Yeah. Also, you multiply by 16 over 116. 16 over 116, how much? What is the VAT amount? For 20,000. For 20,000. Next, we have what? What is our next? Uh, sorry? Concrete mixer. Concrete mixer. Concrete mixer. Amount inclusive? 3.77 million. That's 770,000 times 16 over 116. The VAT amount is how much? Pauline? 
520 goods. I've been told that majority of you, they don't know how to unmute themselves, which is good. Next, after concrete mixer. Poker vibrator. Poker vibrator. Poker vibrator, how much? Inclusive amount? It's to 50,000. Inclusive amount is how much? 906. 906. 250. 250 times 16 over 116. 125,000. 425. 125. 125,000. 125,000. Next. Photocopying machine. Photocopying machine. Inclusive amount? 174,000. 174,000. Good. Times 16 over 116. VAT amount? 24,000. 24,000. Good. We have, what is the next uh, uh, asset that we purchased? Or machines? Sorry? Two fox, fox, uh, forklifts. 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 Inclusive amount. Uh, one point one million five eighty four thousand one twenty five. One twenty five times sixteen over one sixteen. How much are we getting? You did. 218,500. Oh, you're still here. 218,500. I've not had uh, um, a lady contributing. After four clips, we have. Next, we have what? 700 tons of cement. Cement, cement, inclusive amount? 25 million. 25. Yes, 28, sorry. 28 million. 125,565. 565. Times 16 over 116. 3 million. 2 million. Three. Someone else? 3879. 3879. 388. 388. Point two seven six. Correct. Next, after cement. That's a lot. Next. Is the executive boardroom table? Sorry? Executive boardroom table. Before that, we have me. Bottled water, mm -hmm. mineral water, right? In sour. The inclusive amount is how much? So mineral water, we have one thirty seven. I don't know why you are not giving the answer. One thirty seven, four sixty. Times 16 over 116 is how much? 16 over 116. What is the VAT amount, Judy? 18,960. 
1860. Now, after mineral water, we have boardroom table. Boardroom table. Inclusive amount? 145,000. 145,000. We multiply by 16 of 116. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Next, we have what? Rental box. Rental box. Thank you. Thirty amount. Thirteen nine twenty. Thirteen nine twenty. You multiply by sixteen of one sixteen. You are getting how much? Nineteen twenty. 1920. Good. From there, we have uh, paint. Paint, inclusive amount I can see is how much? That one, 17, 500, times 16 over 116. For thirty thousand. For thirty thousand. Then from there we have petrol. Petrol. We have been told for trucks engaged in construction. It is twelve hundred. Twelve hundred nine sixty times sixteen over one sixteen. How much are we getting? One six five. What is that? One sixty five. Twelve hundred nine sixty. I also use my calculator. Twelve hundred. 160. It's 165.649.66. 165. Yes, 649.66. A minute, please. I confirm something. So how much are you getting? It is correct. What was the answer? Someone give me the answer. One sixty five six forty nine point six six. One sixty five six four nine six four nine point six six. Thank you. Give me the total uh, input tax. What is our total? Sixty-one sixty-five. Total. Yes. Sixty-one sixty-five. Four one seven. One seven. Four one seven. Not one seven. Four one seven. Point nine three. Point nine three. Just like that. Yes. Correct. Now from there, we go and we look on the VAT payable. 
or refundable. VAT payable or refundable. So calculate your VAT payable. So to calculate my VAT payable, stroke refundable, I'm going to be taking my output tax that we are talking about ourselves minus input tax. We are discussing about purchases. We are discussing about purchases. I remember the output was 11,200,000 right minus i was told the 61 65 417.93 so what is the vat so it, if it is possible you have to pay if it is positive you have to pay if it is uh, negative you, you the kra will be able to refund the kra will be able to refund so what is the vat payable So it's uh, 5034. 5034. 582.07. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? Any question? Any question? Don't have questions. Open September 2015. There is a question there for VAT. Done. Why don't you complete the second part? What action to take based on your analysis in C1 above? So, what is the action do you think they have to take? What is the action? Can we take? You said since it's positive, they pay. Yes. But your repayable is when you calculate the output are more than the input. Then it means you have to pay. So when the output is less than the input, it means I have purchased more items with the VAT than the VAT which I was able to collect. Then I have to the carrier has to refund. So that is the moment you normally hear people saying. My, my 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 pin as a credit right as a credit of one or three thousand something like that because the carrier is able to refund when you have excess of you have excess um of uh, when the input tax is more than output tax maybe i can be able to look on the question which has such kind of challenge uh what do you think we are supposed to do What do you think we are supposed to do? Somebody, what are they supposed to do? Nobody the answer. They are going to pay KRA 534 based on your analysis, right? The KRA has over quarter to five, I think it's 5.6. But you, when you calculate based on the eight assets in which they have, and the uh, the 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 sense in which they were able to make based on the contract or the amount that they were able to receive from the invoices which they were able to raise, then it means after you have of, uh, after you have carried out your analysis, then it means that the uh, they have underquoted, they have underquoted because I think they were quoting around four point something, and I think three point nine. And then the KRA also have over quoted 3.5.6. Uh, so the uh, the best amount to pay is 5.03 million. That is the correct amount from the analysis that you have carried on. September 2015, question 5C. Question 5C. But when you have some, when you, when you have uh, 
so theoretic uh, a question in regards to your answers. You explain based on what you have gotten there. You explain based on your answer. We are talking about September 2015, question number 5C. Question number five, it is similar. There's a similar question. Someone to read for us. Nobody can read for us. Yes, can you read for us? China Construction Company Limited has been <clears throat> engaged in the building and construction industry for many years. There has been an ongoing dispute with the revenue authority as the amount of value added tax that the company is liable to pay. You've been provided with the following details relating to the companies and uh, transactions. Uh, you have the purchases and uh, other information provided. The above amounts are inclusive of VAT at the standard rate of 16% where applicable. Additional information, um, the company had negotiated a contract for 45 million uh, shillings for which it received a pro progress payment of 18 million shillings on uh, 25th June. These amounts are in exclusive of VAT. The invoice had been raised earlier on 3rd May 2015, based on the architect certificate for the value of work certified. The company had also won a labor only contract for 12.5 million exclusive of VAT for which an installment payment of 4 million was received on May uh, ninth, ahead of the completion on 17th June. Uh, the invoice was raised for full payment on completion. By the end of August 20, 2015, the balance of the payment had not been received from the client. Uh, required one, advice on the uh, correct VAT position for the company for the period between 2015 May and August. Uh, two, Comment on any information that you have not used in C1 above. Thank you. Now, um, from this, we can also be able to do uh, starting with the output taxes. So let me go back to, uh, to the board. So uh, we started the output tax because we know if, for example, we have VAT, VAT payable uh, or refundable. We are supposed to be taking output tax minus input tax. So if we start with our output tax here, the output tax is based on those additional information given there. So in this case, we are being given a contract. I remember we had the same scenario. So we have a contract. The contract is 18 million that we were able to receive during the period in which we are calculating our tax. So you multiply by 16% because we are being told this is exclusive. exclusive. Then the other one we have 
We have been told the company has also won a labor only contract for 12.5 million, exclusive of the VAT. So we have labor contracts. So the labor contract that we were able to receive, we received 12 million 500,000 times 16 percent. Right? That is our output tax. You can give me the total. You can give me the total for the output tax. So for what for the contract? What is the VAT payable? What is the VAT amount? The VAT amount for the contract? GD is how much for the contract? Hello? Salat? Yes. Give me the answers. Factor time. I don't know when you are keeping quiet. It means. But where's it going to so, happen? Contract is how much? The, the first one is 2880. 2880. Yes, 1000. Okay. Labor contract? 2000. 2000. 2 million. It's, yes, 2 million. So it means the total is 4.88, zero, 4.88. Now let us go to the output tax. Output tax, uh, sorry, input tax, sorry. So let us analyze our input tax. So our input taxes. So we calculate input tax. These are the purchases that we made during the period in question. So you have seen we have to do for certain periods. So we have been told between May and August. So we are dealing with May to August 2015. May to August 2015. So in this case, we start with the, um, the assets that we have to calculate the assets which are falling within that period. For example, we have concrete. Concrete mixer. Concrete mixer, I think the invoice date was on June and the payment date was July. For, so it is 5.8 million. It was paid during or acquired during the time uh, we are calculating our VAT. How much are we getting there? We have scaffolding pipes. They are being called what? They are called scap. Uh, scap. Sorry. Uh, scaffoldings. Pipes. So scap. Uh, uh, for that we are we are getting thirteen ninety two. You multiply by sixteen over one sixteen. Right. We have poker vibrator. Poker vibrator, it is around 696,000 times 16 over 116. I'm expecting the answer there. Then I can also see we have um, photocopier, which was able to be per or which was purchased during that period. Photocopier. So the photocopier is for that period, right? Is the photocopier for that, that period that we are doing our, our VAT? Do you consider the invoice date or the, or the delivery date? The invoice date, right? Yes. So yeah, it was for that period, it, it should be considered. Let me check. Okay. It should be the delivery date, sorry. The delivery dates. Was it delivered during the time we are doing our VAT? Yeah. 
So it was delivered on 30th April. 30th April? Yes. Right? Are we together? So do we consider it or we don't? I have said mm -hmm. that we look on the delivery date. When are we able to get uh when are we able to get that item? The delivery was made on April. So that is outside what we are calculating right now, in outside our May to August period. So uh, we don't have photocopier, it is not considered right now. We have trolleys. Trolleys must be able to deliver, be delivered on June. So when I look at it, the mall was at 25.52. Times 16 over 116. Uh, we have a boardroom table. Boardroom table is, uh, is amounting to how much? 464,000 times 16 over 116. Uh, we have 200 tons of cement for April, so it is not factored. We have dispenser. We have dispenser, which was able to cost us 92. 800,000 by 16 of 116. We shall be able to get it there. Then we have paint for Dura coats. When you look on the question, they are similar. So this is 812. 812,000 times 16 over 116. And then the last one is office chairs. Office chairs, 348,000 times 16 over 116. Give me the VAT. Give me the input uh, input tax here. Give me the input tax. I don't need the other answers. Give me the input tax there. What is our total input tax? Judy, give me the answer. Diana, give me the answer. 1676. Sorry. I'm still calculating. Sorry. 1676. 1676. Eight. Eight. Hundred. Eight hundred. So 1676, 800. So to calculate the VAT payable, I will be able to take what? What was our output tax? Our output tax was 4.880 thousand minus your output tax of 16.76,800. What is the VAT payable right now? What is the VAT payable? What is the VAT payable? Thirty-two zero three. Thirty-two zero three. Two hundred. Two hundred. Thank you. That's two zero three two hundred. So the question in which I could see the examiner there is trying to ask you, uh, why have you not used the photocopier? 
photocopier, photocopier and cement. So you just need to tell him this two is not within is not within the period covered. Is not within the period covered. Is not within the period we are covering, right? It is not within the period covered because we are covering May to August, May to August. So the two are not within the period covered. Not within the period covered. Any question? Any question? So I remember I said the VAT can only be refunded on uh, some circumstances. For example, when we talk about where the input tax is consistently more than the output tax, I was able to explain that to you. This is the most applicable where the taxpayer makes zero rated supplies, but that is not the case here in Kenya. Then the refunds as a result of bad debts. The bad debts, remember, I said that uh, you can be able to raise a credit and uh, are requesting for a refund for the taxes that you have already paid. And we are saying this is, will be refunded the following conditions, where the data has been declared bankrupt or insolvent, and they said, I remember explaining that issue. And also the other problem that we might be having uh, is where it can take in a period of more than three years without the data paying the debt and effort has been made to recover the debt. We cannot be able to fight with the debtors in regards to uh, not paying, not paying. So I want us to look on uh, another aspect because those are some of the questions which we are expecting from uh, the VAT. But uh, most uh, the other questions in which uh, they might be asking us for is um, the question of the VAT account. The question of VAT account. So for example, we look on uh, how do our VAT accounts look like? And um, how do we restrict? Because I was able to explain the issues of restriction. I remember that is the, or oh, I think that is the last thing that we're supposed to be covering, uh, covering before we wind up. So um, the issues which might be arising here, we are discussing about VAT accounts. VAT accounts. So there are some of the questions in which the examiner will be asking you to calculate the VAT account. So the VAT account of yours will be looking like this. The VAT account, right? So here, I'm going to be having output tax. Output tax, I'll be able to record them here. And then on the other side, I will be able to record my input. Input tax. So let me start with the what are some of the items which I'm supposed to be including the output tax? We are going to be looking on the purchases. The purchases that we are going to be making, you include them there. We have some imports. Some imports, you include them there. We have expenses in card. We include them here. We have debit not received. Debit not received so the debit not received you also include it here we have credit not credit not received remember the credit not received will be reducing your purchases so you need to subtract then here is where you normally include well the VAT payable we include here VAT payable Remember, this is now will be our balancing figure. That will be our balancing figure, and we include it here. Remember, we are paying, right? We are paying our VAT. Now, on the sales, on the side of sales, sorry, on the input, we include our sales. So you're going to be having our sales there. We have exports. Exports, we include them here. We have debit not received. Debit not received. Is it received? No. It should be issued. Sorry. Debit not issued. 
maybe not issued which increase our purchases. We have credit not sorry. Credit not issued. Remember when I'm issuing a credit, I want to correct an overcharge. So I reduce my sales, right? We have deemed tax, uh, taxable supply. We shall be able to look on them. Deemed taxable supply. We put them there. Then the VAT payable, uh, refundable, sorry. The, fee, the VAT ref, uh, refundable will be included here and therefore you balance your tax account in that manner. You balance your tax account in that manner. Now, I want to do some few questions in regards to this and then we conclude. Because the only thing that you're supposed to be asking me, how to restrict and the, the issues of restriction now, I think I'm supposed to be doing only one question. Uh, one question, sorry, in regards to both. And then we conclude, we conclude. I want to look on May 2017. It will be able to cover the VAT account. And also we, we restrict, we restrict. So May 2017, question number, uh, question number 4B. May 2017, May 2017. May 2017. I have a question. Eh? Yes. If you look at our earlier workings, uh -huh. the input tax, uh, basically the purchases. Eh? I don't know why I'm confusing on that. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why I'm confusing it. Should be the same. There is no any change. So these are inputs. These are outputs. Thank you for that. Other question? So let us go to May 20. Let's go to May 2017. Uh, Dan, how did you do that correction? Please clarify. Sorry? You are correcting something on the board. Please clarify. Yes, I was correcting the, I was, I had already mixed up the output here and the input. Remember the output is our cells, input on based on the cells, uh, purchases. So that is what I said. Oh, what was it's the okay. question, Diana? No, it's okay. I think I've understood. Yes. It I, is I thought you... that you had uh, told me earlier. Yes. I, yeah. I also thought you were a bit mixed up. So, yeah. Thanks. Nothing different. So we are looking on question four, uh, 4B. Four Let me, I can't see any question here with VAT. Look for the question. Number. It's for, for B, for Sawela. Is it still there? Yes, for B, for Sawela, May 2017.
But I can't find it here. Move up a bit, I can see it there. It's there. Thank you. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, yes. Somewhat read for us. I think Pauline is not in this class. Yeah, make a two. And the log in Agalala, right? Those are the only people, um, Oinaina and Pauline, they, it, I don't think if they are in this class. But you have not even said hi. Are you fearing people on social media? Now, we have been told the following transaction related to uh, Sawela Limited for the month of April 2017. We have been given the purchase of goods at standard rates exports goods uh, to South Africa, sales at standard rate of the fees, uh, purchase of fuel and oil for delivery van, telephone bills, exempt sales, exported goods to uh, Zambia, catering services, purchase of stationery, cost of assigning a debt for consideration, car park services provided by the county as authority, treatment and supply of natural water, uh, purchase of first aid box uh, boxes kits. Now, additional information we are being told here that um, the company issued debit notes and credit notes of 24360 and that 4800 respectively in respect to taxable supplies at standard rate. So you can see the debit note issued and the credit note issued affect our sales. One is deducted, the debit issued. Uh, we have said we, they to increase our sales. So the company returned goods invoice at 29,000 to supplier because they were of a wrong type. A credit note was received immediately. Credit note received, reducing our purchases because we have we have a return outward. But we have been to the company imported goods valued at 320, cost insurance and freight. These goods were not included in the purchases figure and the import duty at the rate of 20%. Remember we say the value of the VAT, the, 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 the value of the, uh, the imports, uh, we say the value of the duty, we have the duty in there itself. That is what we are going to be looking on what we have uh, learned earlier. So the company transferred uh, to, to a branch, uh, 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 transferred a branch, it's a going concern to another registered company at a cost of 450,000 at the end of April 2017. So the company could not identify parties at standard rate that was sold as exempt and therefore restricted deductible uh, deductible input tax. So you can see that we have been told we have to restrict. Now, transactions are inclusive of VAT at the rate of 16% where applicable, required. The VAT payable by Sawela Limited in the month of, uh, in that month that we have been requested there. Now, um, let us go back. We do and we finalize because uh, I think time is running. Let us go and we finalize. Correct. Thank you. Now, remember we are doing, we are doing May, we are doing May 2017, question number 4B. Question number 4B. So we have said, and I have been corrected, and now I can hear. Let us start clear the VAT account. the VAT account, 
So here we shall be able to record our input tax. And here we record our output tax. We record our output tax. Now we shall be able to start with the information provided. Let us look on the information provided there. Right? So we have been told the taxes at standard rate are given. We have been told the purchase of goods at standard rate, it is six, uh, 26, 400. And uh, I remember I was being told not number six that the transactions are inclusive of VAT at the rate of 16. So remember, we normally rec we need the VAT amount. So in this case, let us start with the purchases at standard rates. It will be, um, I have been given 626, 626, 400 times 16 over 116. 626, 400. I think when I do like that, you understand. Now we have exports of good to South Africa and uh, you remember, or I can be able now to to educate that to the exports, because they are the sales which I'm making. So the export to South Africa, they are zero rated. Exports are only zero rated, and therefore you just need to take 380,000 times zero percent, which is zero. Exports are zero rated. So what are the parties are standard rates? Someone to give me the answer. Then we have sales. Sales at standard rate. So sales at standard rate, we have been given 1,113,600 times 16 over 116. Because we have been told the figures are inclusive of VAT. Someone to give me for sales, someone to give me for purchases. Hello? For purchases. Sorry? Purchases is 86,400. 86,400. Sales? For sales, it's uh, 153,600. 153. You see now my gentleman Wamelala, 153,600. Next. Next we have what? Now, next we are being told we have audit fees. Remember in our format we had the expenses, so the audit fees are under the input tax. So you include here audit fees. So the audit fees is there, we are being given that 7120 inclusive. So you multiply by 16 of 116, getting how much? Then I can also be told that uh, we have fuel and oil. Fuel and oil. I remember the time they were setting this question, the fuel and oil could be exempted from taxation because it was not taxed. So you could just say it is exempted, but today, the fuel is at the rate of 8%, right? So it will be 29,000 times 8 over 108. 8 over 108. That is the fuel and oil. So someone to give me the answers. Now from there, after the purchase of the fuel, we have telephone bills. Telephone bills. Our telephone bills there, we are being given. 17,400, then inclusive of VAT at the rate of 16. So we need the VAT amount. We take 16 uh, over 116, then we multiply by 17. The exempt cells, exempt cells, it means they are not uh, subjected to any form of taxation. So it is 400,000. You just say 400,000 and then you put dash. 
There is a difference between a dash and a zero. These are zero rated, these are dash. It is exempted and therefore, you're not supposed to be saying the same as zero. Now, we have exported goods, exports. Sorry, Dan, just to take you back, what yes. did you say about exempt sales? I have said there is a difference between putting a dash here and a zero. Remember, the exports are zero rated. For example, like this one, export to Zambia is to 20,000. So I just need to multiply by 0%, get it zero. But the exempt sale it means they, are, they don't qualify to any form of taxation. Exempt, exempts. They don't have any rate in simple terms. Therefore, you're about to put dash, not zero. On your far end, someone to give me the rate for catering services today. During the time catering services, during the time I was doing tax, uh, tax at section six, we used to write catering services. I write it, it was prohibited. So we used to write prohibited and we put dash. But today the rate of catering services is how much? Catering uh, levy for 21,760. We multiply by catering levy in Gapi. Today. Today. You see how you normally watch the wrong news. I normally watch the wrong news. You're supposed to be watching the business news. So the catering today, we are talking about for 1760. We multiply by two over one or two because it is at the rate of 2% today. That is still one or two because we just need the, the levy. We have the purchase of stationery. So let me do until I finish. Stationery, we have 2880 times 16 over 116. Uh, we also have uh, cost of assigning. The cost of assigning a debt for consideration. So the cost for assigning someone for consideration, uh, we put there. Where are we putting it? Someone for consideration. The pay my answer kwanza before I think. It fees how much? So Fifty-one twenty. Well, audit fees is fifty-one twenty. Mm -hmm. Fuel and oil is twenty-one forty-eight. Twenty-one forty-eight. Then bills, telephone bills, two thousand four hundred. Get that in levy. Eight nineteen. 819. Stationary. 2880. 2880. 2880. So is the cost of assigning a debt for consideration uh, subjected to any form of taxation? What is a debt for consideration? Debt for consideration, someone? What is it? What is it? Can we call it a bad debt? Sorry? Can we call it a bad debt? I can't get you clearly. Can we call it a bad debt? A bad debt. So what is a debt for consideration? That is what I've asked. Someone to give me an explanation. Is it, is it like, uh, I'm not sure, but is it like a promise to pay? Like um, issue 
the the call road from from Miss Sabinovs. Are these objective for taxation? This objected. Before I give you a conclusion on that, what about the car, um, car cowards? Uh, the, the, the other one? Because what I think about uh, the debt consideration is that the debt consideration uh, is something like a promissory note, um, something that you are giving someone who is uh, not willing to purchase an item on a cash basis. It's not subjected for any taxation. That's like a promissory note is not uh, taxed. It is not taxed. Now, what about uh, the issues of the county government? We have been told the car park services provided by county authority. Is it taxable? Are they taxable? For example, when you, you go in, in town and you find some areas where the government can be able to park their cars. So there is no any tax for financial services or services offered by the government, by the county government. There is no any form of taxation for uh, financial services um, um, or services offered by the, the government, health, or education. So you cannot be able to, the government doesn't tax itself. The government can't tax itself. Now let us continue. Uh, we have treatment of this and supply of natural water treatment and supply of the natural water. Is it taxable? Treatment and supply of the someone? I think it's not taxable. It is not taxable. Now, we have the purchase of the first aid box and kits the purchase of first and eight box kits. Are they taxable? The first aid kits. We have said that uh, those are the things in which uh, they are providing um, uh, support. For example, not support, but uh, um, they, 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 they aid maybe First aid pallets, the Red Cross, and so on. Uh, those boxes, they are not taxable. They are not taxable. They are not subjected to any taxation. Now, we also have additional information number one. We have been told the company issued debit notes and credit notes of 24360 and that 4800 respectively in respect to taxable supplies at standard rates. So we said. The credit note and uh, the debit note issued, they affect sales. They affect sales. So in this case, I will start with the debit note issued. Debit note issued. So the debit note issued was for um, how much? Was for how much? Was costing how much, sorry? Was it 24? Was 24 how much? 24, 360 times 16 over 116. Then we have credit not issued, which we say it reduces our sales. The credit not issued reduces our sales. So the credit not was, uh, was for amounting to 34,800 times 16 over 116. Someone to give me the answer. Someone to give me those answers. Sorry. 
So, so the first one is for debit notes, is 3360. 3360. Yeah. 3360. And 4800. 4800 reduces. Remember we yeah. said that. 4800 reduces our sales, reduces our sales. Now, not number two, we have been told the company returned goods invoice to 9,000 to suppliers because they were not of the they are of the wrong type. So the credit note was received immediately. The credit note was received immediately. It does not have any effect. Now, number three, a bit told the company imported goods valued imports here. You know the imports are here. So we have been told the company imported goods valued at 320. Thousand cost insurance and freight. Uh, these goods were not included in the purchases figure. And you know that is the tax on our country here. The taxes on our country here is that um, imports are quoted exclusive of VAT. Imports are quoted uh, are quoted exclusive of VAT. They are quoted exclusive of VAT. They are quoted exclusive of VAT. So in this case, how am I going to be calculating my imports? We have been told these goods are not included in the purchase figure. So uh, our import duty was at the rate of 20%. So when you are calculating the import duty, you're going to be taking the, the import, uh, the, the value of the imports, 320,000 times 16% times 120%. 120%. Why am I including 120? These items are valued at 100, right? Then this value should be inclusive. That is why we say you take the value, the value of the item or the value of the duty plus the duty itself. That is what we said in our, in our notes. So this cost, this amount should be around 120 inclusive. It should be 120, 120%. Mm -hmm. They are not supposed to be a hundred percent. So that is why I've I multiplied with 120, with 120, because the import duty was at the rate of 20%. So to include the 20 to the 320, right? Because if I could multiply with 20 here, I will give the, the, the import duty only. But what is the import duty plus the value? So that is why I'm, I'm multiplied by 120. Getting how much? How much are you getting there? 7680. 7680. Thank you. Then why you said note two will not affect. Sorry? Uh, note two. Sorry? Uh, kindly explain uh, um, on why you've not, you said the note two will not affect. Unless you are able to purchase a product. Once I reach yeah. that product, because the receipt, I'm, I'm not having the receipt there. I don't have an obligation to pay for taxes for the items which I, I have not consumed. Because you have purchased an item, came within the organization, we have, you have found that those items were not the ones that you, you, you ordered. You have returned their goods. The receipt, which were the amount inclusive, they have issued you the credit. So you don't have the amount the, the purchases. Uh, okay. Uh, right? I wanna, oh, sorry. So you have returned. So when you are filing your returns, it means you don't have those, uh, you don't have those items which you return. You don't have even the receipt for them. Number four, we have been told the company transferred a branch as a going concern to another registered company at a cost of 450. At the end of April 2017. Now am I going to treat that? Then you have been told the company could not identify purchases that it does not have any problem. So how am I going to be treating my uh, the company transferring another business uh, to the uh, as a going concern? So don't think so much. Just write it here. Transfer. Transfer business. It will not be able to affect your. It will not be able to affect your output tax. Because it is not taxable. It is 450,000 times 0%. Because you have transferred a, 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 a going concern business. The, the, the going concern, it means that we, we are anticipating that uh, 
that business will be in operation in the foreseeable future. I don't have any other thing to do here. Let me calculate my VAT payable, VAT refundable, whether where it applicable, where it applies, where it applies. So give me the total. So come on, it, if it is a VAT payable, I will be able to put it here, right? And then if it is a VAT refundable, we said, we put it there. We'll be able to put it here. So what is the total for output tax? What is the total for input tax? What is the total for input tax? Yes. The value for input uh, could take the process of VAT. Sorry? I'm not getting that figure. The, five, the, the value for input, sir. This one. The 76.80, that is not what I'm getting. What are you saying, Elena? I can't find, I, I can't get you clear. I'm saying the value here, 76.80 is not what I'm getting. What are you getting? Six one for 40. Six one for 40? Six to one for 40. It, is, it should be 320,000 times 16% and 20%. 320,000 times 16% times 120. Yes, this is not the, the, the correct figure. Is one for four. Yes, my brother. <laughs> Your brother is here. <laughs> Guys, give me a minute, one minute. So my answers, I can stay, uh, I can keep them there. So when you look on the deductible, deductible input tax, remember we are restricting, we normally take total supplies. Total supplies, you divide by um, we normally look on the, it should be taxable supplies, sorry. Taxable supplies over total supplies, we multiply by the input tax. Multiply by the input tax. Now, I want to look on uh, some of this, because the, we remember we say that uh, to restrict, to look on the 10%, 10%, we said we need to look on the exempt supplies. Exempt supplies. You divide by the total supplies. Then we multiply by 100%. We multiply by 100%. So when I look on this scenario, we had some zero rated supplies, right? Because the supply should be exclusive. What we are discussing here should be exclusive of VAT. And the figure that we are having in the question are inclusive of the VAT. Now, in this case, what I say is, let me first start with taking my zero-rated supplies. I remember I had two uh, supplies, one to South Africa, the other one to Zambia. So in South Africa, I was able to supply around, I think, 380. One of them should be 380 plus... The other one was think to 20. These are the, the two zero rated, zero rated. So it means they are they don't have any tax. These prices, this value, they don't have tax. So we are discussing about 600,000. 600,000. Also, remember, we have standard rated because I need to calculate the total supplies, but they are supposed to be exclusive exclusive of VAT. They are supposed to be exclusive. So standard rated supplies. We add 1,113,600 plus 
plus the debit note. We had a debit note of 24, 360, right? And also we had a debit note which was reducing our sales of 34, 800. 34, 800. So how much is this? What is the total here? The total for this is how much? The total is how much? Diana. When I know what is the answer? Elias, give me the answer. Um, the answer is uh, 1103160. 1103160. Remember, this figure is inclusive. Being inclusive, I need it to be exclusive. Right? So it means to be exclusive because this is equivalent to 116%. What about 100%? Because I need this figure to be exclusive of VAT. So exclusive amount is how much? Exclusive amount is how much? So it means I just need to take 1103.160 times 100 over 116. What is the answer? 951,000. Correct, 951,000. Totaling to how much? I think this I can answer because you are very slow. 1551,000. After there, you include your exam supplies. Our exam supplies amounted to 400,000. And therefore, the total figure, total supplies of ours. The total supplies equals to 1951,000. 1951. 1951. 1951. So I want to look on the, the aspect of 10%. So to calculate our 10% test, I'm going to be taking the exam supplies, 400,000. We divide by the total supplies of 1951 times 100%. How much is this? How much is this? How much? 20.5%. Sorry? 20.5. 20.5%, right? So it means you have to restrict is above 10%, is above 10%, and then you have to restrict your input tax, the input tax of 157, 207. So how am I going to restrict? To calculate your deductible input tax, I take the taxable supplies. The taxable supplies are exclusive of the exam supplies of 400,000. Right? So because I don't know whether you wrote these figures, let me write them somewhere. So in this case here, that scenario there, you can have you can just say, to calculate my deductible input tax, I just need to take taxable supplies of ours in this one. So it will be 15, 51,000. You divide by the total supplies, 19, 51,000. Right? Then you multiply by our input tax, which is 157. 
How much is this? How much is that? Deductible input tax. That is what we are. We have. What is the answer? It is only One twenty-four. One twenty-four. Nine seven five. Nine seven five. Point nine three nine. Points. Nine three nine. Nine three nine. So, what is our tax payable? Stock refundable. It will be our output tax, our input, uh, our output tax is 152, 160, minus 124, 975, 0.94. How much is this? Tax payable now. Our input tax, you can see, was able to reduce from 157,207 to 124. So it means the time I'm, I'm restricting, it reduces the, the input tax. It reduces the input tax. So what is the tax payable? 27,184. Sorry? 27,187. 27. 184.06. That is how you normally restrict VA. Done. It's 27184. Like that. Point, yeah, point zero six. Point zero six. Point zero six. Point zero six. 27, 184.16. Any question? What do you mean by, uh, what do you mean when you say we are okay. restricting? What do you mean by the phrase restriction? The rest what exactly is that? The restriction is very simple. It means the uh, reduction because when we have exempt supplies, you have to reduce it, you have to restrict. We have to restrict. That is where we say it. when we have all the conditions applicable to restrict our input tax. The, to restrict it means to reduce, to reduce the input tax from the, uh, the the actual that you have to pay, right? Because you are dealing with exempted supplies. You are dealing with all types of supplies. You have zero rated, standard rated, and exempt. And exam. I will be able to share the uh, the Akoka Akoka handout on why are we restricting the input tax? Why are we restricting the input tax? But mostly in normal language is because we are restricting to reduce the input, to reduce the input tax. Okay, thank you. So I want to give an assignment. On the... I have a question. I have a question. Eh? Yes. So, um, how how will our VAT account balance? I think we left it hanging. 